Hey guys, Dave with Moneyology on Markets here, and this is the Uranium Sector Review for March 3rd, 2019. This is the third in a series of weekend reviews. We've done the precious metals as well as the market review, so this is the trifecta. And so let's take a look at what's going on in the uranium sector. I know a lot of you guys say the URA ETF is not a good reflector of the overall uranium space. I disagree. I think, look, it's the best that we've got. Obviously, it's not perfect. And uh, a, a lot, a big portion of this UT, ETF is not uranium. I get it, but here's here's what we got here on the URA monthly. So we're still in this bullish wedge pattern. Uh, bottom line is until this uh, this downtrend is broken to the upside, we're still in the downtrend, and I expect uh, lower prices until proven otherwise. I'm not obviously saying to or suggesting to short. I'm just saying that uh, upside is relatively limited. Uh, in the overall sector. Obviously, you'll find, as we'll see in the review momentarily, you'll find pockets of opportunity, but that's where the due diligence on a fundamental side is warranted. Okay, so we've got the weekly. We, we were running this up, uh, broke down, broke above this uptrend here, and now we broke below it. That's not a positive development. Uh, if it can't break back above that 50 level, I would, I would suggest that we're probably going back to these double green lines here uh, to the downside. Obviously, that kind of stinks because a lot of folks have been considering going long right over here. But uh, as soon as we broke below that, that's a good point to exit your long positions that were entered at this point here. Uh, Uranium daily here, you see we broke down below the 50 and, and coincided with a 200-day moving average breakdown. 50-day moving average breakdown, I think we're going to around that 12, possibly as low as that 1140 area possibly creating an inverse head and shoulders at that point but uh, I think there's more downside ahead however I do see a sign of uh, exhaustion on the sell-off here we might see a bounce uh, perhaps back up to 1250 here before uh, before resistance comes in because there's positive divergence lower lows but not confirmed in momentum so that's it here on the URA ETF for those of you who hate it I'm wanting to make that very short now let's go through some of the names we have here. I have done zero due diligence on most of them, uh, but I have put them in the watch list because they are in some ways connected to uranium and a lot of folks have asked for these various names. So here they are. Not much here to see in ALX Uranium Corp. It's just consolidating here. Uh, you've got Anfield Energy, however, is breaking out of its downtrend and that's very positive. You saw had multiple new consecutive highs in momentum and then boom, we broke out. I think we, this is a great risk reward entry, one of my favorite kind of uh, entry points. And so uh, here we are. So, you know, consider consider taking a position right around this this area. Appia Energy Corp, it's uh, bouncing nicely off the 60, 61 level in RSI. I like that. You've got support at the middle Bonder band. You've got... Uh, the 50 week moving average and so this is just setting up for uh, new highs potentially uh, keep an eye on that one blue sky uranium another one that's just teases us every time it goes to this particular downtrend line uh, and then it's falling back but I think it's setting up for a breakout sooner rather than later uh, good good place to nibble and obviously when it breaks out add uh, to the position Cameco this one's basically URA itself, and uh, it's breaking down. Close the week slightly below the 50, and I think it's going to probably retest this down, downward or upward trending, but down uh, our side point. Um, so we've got a little bit more downside. Uh, it looked like it was curling here, and now it's breaking down. If it cannot hold this uh, uptrend here, I think we'll probably see back to 10, possibly 950 uh, in Cameco. Can Alaska could not break this uptrend uh, or downtrending uh, RSI point, and now we've rolled over again. Don't like what I'm seeing here. If this 20 uh, point breaks to the downside, could fall hard. Could fall as low as 10. So uh, hopefully for the bulls that doesn't happen, but uh, keep an eye on this price level at 20 cents. Deep yellow, it's uh, also consolidating, but it is slightly below the 50 uh, RSI point uh, until it breaks above that 42 cent level or below the uh, basically 14 cent level it's basically in consolidation mode I think it has longer term upside but it's not there yet uh, Denison Mines Corp it's also a very noisy chart I mean you got the PPO here that's curling close to zero so perhaps it breaks higher but if it rolls back over I think the risk is to the downside at this point uh, of breaking below 45 cents 
Encore Energy, I didn't like this particular uh, candle here. I pointed that out in one of my posts on Twitter over the week. If it cannot hold that 14.50 cent area, uh, then then I think we're probably going to retest this breakout entry point uh, around 10 and a half. So could could be some downside there. Uranium fuels, uh, it's it looks like it's breaking out of this downtrend here. So it's been consolidating here uh, after breaking out. I like this particular chart formation. It needs to break above thir three and a half for me to get interested, but there's significant upside should we break out above that price level and you've got PPO heading higher. Fission 3.0 Corp uh, broke below its, uh, its RSI kind of uptrend. So um, don't know that whether this wedge ultimately breaks higher or lower, but it's not, it's not positive price formation. You've got a lot of volume here. I don't know what's going on. So please do your due diligence here. Fission Uranium Corp. Um, this one is just it, it just keeps going lower, and uh, I don't know why. It's got a lot of good fundamentals behind it, but price just doesn't want to follow through. So till it breaks above 70 cents, this is a non-story to the upside. Uh, Forces Metals, on the other hand, is breaking up, breaking out against this downtrend. So watch the break above 50 cent uh, 50 RSI and it can make a run back towards 28 cents and then of course should a break above 28 cents that's your sign to go long from a long term perspective uh, gold mining it's got a pretty big uranium uh, asset there that should uranium break out this company could spin it off and, and it, it could be a very nice dividend for shareholders I own this particular name from a PM perspective and it's pulled back here. Uh, I like this at risk reward at this point, still above the 50 RSI, uh, still above that breakout point, but um, wasn't a good week last week, bottom line. Uh, GovX Uranium uh, had a nasty sell off, could not break above that 38 level of RSI, and looks like it wants to go move lower below the 10 cent mark. Nothing to see there really at this point. ISO Energy. I like this chart. This chart looks really good. I think it's going to break above 60 cents very, very soon. Uh, probably the most bullish chart in this particular uh, watch list. Laramide Resources, another one that's consolidating but looks like RSI is breaking to the downside. So should this break below 27 and a half, we, we might uh, fall lower all the way back to 17 and a half. Next Gen Energy, one of those that has great fundamentals behind it but keeps going lower and looks like it wants to break below 150. So if it does, I mean, it could head all the way back to 105. So uh, for the bulls, you want to hold this 150 area. That's a must. Paladin Energy, another one like a sleeper, but it's coiling and it looks like it's gonna, it's getting set to break out here. Don't know the fundamentals here, but this could ri skyrocket should this wedge break to the upside. Plateau Uranium, uh, nothing really to see here, uh, but should this wedge break out to the upside, it could it could cause a nice rally. You see that it's done this multiple times, and I think ultimately we'll probably head back to 125 should this wedge break to the upside. A couple more names here. Pure Point Uranium uh, it had a nice rally, but these last couple weeks have not been uh, not been what you want to see. Uh, as I said. Over here, we would probably test the 10 cent marker, but and we did do so with positive divergence versus this. So eventually, I think it's breaking out to the upside. The question is when, and do we have more downside ahead? I can't say for sure. Sky Harbor Resources, this one's interesting. It's wedging here. Uh, this is a nice risk reward to buy here and perhaps have a stop loss at 24 cents. Should it break lower, there is some substantial downside. But should it break higher, it can make a quick run towards that 42 cent zone very quickly. UEX Corp breaking lower. Uh, this is uh, basically a garbage play at this point. Uh, it has nothing doing for it on a technical level, and I'm not sure about its fundamentals. Here, on the other hand, your, your energy looks like it it's setting up for a break above 80 cents. And so uh, when it happens, that's your buy entry point to for, for new highs. Uh, UEC, another one that just keeps tr tagging this downward uh, RSI point and breaking lower. So I just don't see any upside. We might see uh, move lower towards one at this point. Uranium Participation Corp. This one's a beautiful looking chart here. Uh, rounded bottom here, but it needs to break above 370. And otherwise, it looks like it might be setting up for a multi-week handle formation here. 
Uh, it should have break below the 50. You would want to see a consolidate and downward um, pattern like this and then break higher eventually. Uh, and finally, Western Uranium Corp. These guys, I, I, I hate to say that this was a pump and dump. But, I mean, look at this. This was a beautiful cup and handle pattern. And then they decide to dilute over here. I don't get it. If you understand you're going to dilute, dilute over here, not over here. Uh, but it kind of is what it is, and this is what you expect in, in, the, in the precious metal space. But it's, it's, it's really, really sad, I, I, frankly. I mean, I think they dilute at $0.68. Cents, so who knows? We might be all the way here come, come market uh, open. Um, on, on, on Monday. I'm, I'm not sure. I didn't look at the details, but it just doesn't look good. And it just, they, they could do better. Management should be ashamed of themselves. And uh, speaking of the diluting kings, here's Westwater Resources. I, I'm frankly close to deleting this chart off the watch list. I, it just watching this particular decay is, is really, really tragic for a company that has pretty darn good assets. Uh, bottom line is, guys, um, that's the uranium sector in a nutshell. Uh, if you like my work here, please subscribe uh, to Stock Twits, Twitter, and at YouTube, and send me your uh, email and reserve yourself a spot for the premium videos that will begin around the July area. Dave at moneyology.com is the place for that email. Thanks, guys, and have yourself a great week.